Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back. In this Project Life Process video, I am working on week 15 from 2018. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and it's the first thing that you see me do every time if you've seen any of my Project Life videos, is to throw down my photos. And I do this because my photos then become the foundation for my entire spread, and it's definitely what I am working off of when I'm thinking about the stories that I wanna tell and how I want to embellish it or maybe design this spread. So it kind of all starts with the photos, even though before I start the layout, it does kind of start with the story because I definitely think about the stories that I want to tell as I'm printing out my photos. So some of those photos, I will have uh, specific stories associated with them, but sometimes I have, not sometimes, a lot of the times I have stories throughout the week that don't have any photos that go along with it. So those then become the standalone three by four cards or journaling cards that then I can tell those stories. If I end up with tons of stories in one week, then I'll end up you know, adding journaling cards with three by fours and then I'll add a bunch of journaling on the actual photo. So I do that sometimes as well. All right, so what you're seeing me do is right there, I've got two photos from Snapchat that one is me and my daughter and the other one is her and a friend. And I just thought it was super cute. They sent it to me. Um, I think it was during school, you know, because why wouldn't you be on your phone Snapchatting at school, right? And I just love the picture so much and how playful it was being able to Snapchat back and forth with them that uh, I wanted to include it in this spread just as a way of showing that this is something that is a part of life of our life so it's not necessarily even something that I had to tell a story about but just having the pictures alone will remind me five years from now maybe if Snapchat doesn't exist that this was something that we used to do together. So you saw that I actually had that print I had that printed I think it's maybe two and a half by two and a half maybe a little bit smaller maybe it's two inches by two inches the photos and you saw that I had them printed together and instead of just leaving it on the white and then drawing the line around it, I wanted to cut them out and put them on separately. I just felt like I wanted that little bit of dimension, that little bit of shadow that is added when you cut out the image and then adhere it right onto the four by six card. So that's why I chose to do it that way. And then of course I added a border around it because when I add photos, onto white, a white background, I really feel like it needs a little bit of grounding. All right, guys, so the cards that I'm using for this week came in Allie Edwards Story Kit Type. So you saw that I went through this kit on week 16. So if you've not seen that video, you can definitely go ahead and watch it. It is live on my YouTube. I did that week before I actually did this week because I was so excited to um, document Story Camp, which was on week 16. So I pulled these cards aside from the kit when I was looking through it originally because I thought that these all looked very similar and that they were very playful and that they would be very fun together. So I'm using these cards in this spread and this is, like I said, the remainder of the type kit. And then I also have some of the other pieces of the kit as well. You'll see um, I've got the chipboards and then I think maybe some fray stickers. I can't remember if I end up using those in this layout, but I'm definitely pulling from that kit pretty heavily. Uh, it was a great kit. I really enjoyed using it. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun. I used it on, like I said, week 16 and then this week and I would, I don't know if I have enough cards for another one, but I definitely still have a bunch of embellishments that I could definitely do uh, another layout or something like that. So these kits do definitely do go a long way, just FYI. So I am looking for uh, some stamps that I could possibly use with this photo. So you see in on the top right hand, the you know, the Snapchat photos that I was talking about, I kind of wanted to mimic that. So it's obviously a different size. It's only one photo photo instead of two, but I wanted to then draw a border around it. And because I wrote on the bottom of that photo and then did the box, I was thinking instead of writing something, maybe I would use one of the stamps. So I was kind of looking at the stamps, something small that could possibly be used there. 
And as I'm thinking about that, I'm just kind of moving on and adding some of the chipboard that I know I want to go in that place. So that's one of the things that I'm trying to do a little bit more as I work is just make some decisions and be happy with it and go. And I've talked about this probably to exhaustion a little bit on this channel is just like it doesn't need to be perfect. Just make those decisions and go especially if you have been working on Project Life for any amount of time. Anytime I go back and look at previous years, I absolutely love the stories. I absolutely love the photos. And guess what? None of it's perfect. It's not all designed perfectly, especially uh, my early, I think it was in 2013. It's just like my style is totally different, right? It's like looking back at a scrapbook from 20 years ago when it, the paper was like, totally different and maybe it's not your style anymore and you've changed over time. I still love looking back at it. I still appreciate it and I am still so grateful that I have it. So keep that in mind as you're working through this that it does not need to be perfect. Really our main goal is to get our stories told and to share our photos and I promise you when you look back you probably laugh a little bit, but you will be so, so grateful that you have it. So I'm trying to keep that in mind as I am uh, working on these spreads and just realizing that it's better to just get it done. All right, you guys, so I am moving on to the journaling portion, and I don't think I get it all done, but the majority I do. And one of the things that I love so much about Allie's cards is the thoughtful story prompt. So Every time I grab one of her cards, it helps me to tell a story or maybe it helps me to tell the story in a different way. Like for instance, I was going to tell the story about Megan dancing, but because of the thankful card, I'm going to use it like a more thankful theme to tell that story, especially with a story like dance. And I can't remember if like what I told on that card. This is just an example. Um, as you know, especially a story that I could tell almost every week, it's nice to be able to find different ways to tell that story, especially because it is a big part of your life or your child's life or whomever. So I like that there's prompts on the cards that really help to draw out the story. So that's one of the things that I really love about um, Allie's cards and her kits because the stamps are like that as well. So you can see here that I'm working on that four by six card and I definitely did mimic the treatment that I did above with those Snapchat photos. The difference is there's one photo instead of two. So what I chose to do is just outline the photo like I did above and then put the journaling um, onto the side there. And then I'm just adding a little embellishment. This is just a wood veneer embellishment. I think I got seriously like three or four years ago from Studio Calico when it was really popular at the time. I think that's when I kind of snagged those packages and they have, I've used them for so many things. So little icons like that, I think those are great investments because you can use them throughout uh, your project life and also any scrapbooking that you're doing or even like card making. They're just so useful, I feel like, for so many things. All right, so now I'm trying to decide how I want to add my dates. So I was thinking that I could do it on either side of that Y but I wasn't sure because I was either going to do that or I was going to stack the dates. So I really just couldn't decide. I think because um, there's a very strong line at the top with the chipboard. And then I felt like the date was extending too far past the A. I just thought it looked like a sandwich. I thought it looked kind of weird. I don't know. It was throwing me off. So I ended up stamping those uh, that date stamp onto a separate card and you can see that I cut them out and then I was just kind of moving them around to see like which one would I like better because once I've cut the card or once I've stamped on the card then that card does not is like no longer usable if I don't like it, right? So I wanted to make sure that it was something that I liked, but I couldn't make the decision right off. So I just set it aside and that's okay to do. I know that I just talked about making decisions quickly, but it's okay to like ruminate on something and move on to other parts of the spread while you're trying to make that decision. And keep in mind, I'm totally just sharing my opinion. If you wanna take like an entire day to do a spread, cause you wanna take it slow, 
I say go for it. This is definitely all about what you want out of your process. So I hope you know that as I'm sharing ways that I am doing it and trying to improve it for myself, I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. But um, I'm totally open to your ideas and the way you guys do it. So if you ever want to share um, anything with me in the comment section, please do. And I've had lots of you share um, comments about how to do something easier in Photoshop or um, maybe give me your opinion about like maybe what you would have done differently. And that's totally great. I love hearing your guys' opinion. So please feel free to share, of course. We always want to be positive though. So anyway, you guys, I finally made my decision with the title card and I decided to stack them off to the right just so it didn't feel like a sandwich. And now I am completely done with this spread. One thing I did want to mention that today's details uh, circle chipboard that I got that came from Allie Edwards detail story kit and I ended up getting an extra one from Story Camp. Some, some of the goodies that we got there. So I just ended up putting that there onto that love this card. Anyway, you guys, I am completely done with this spread. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if you have any comments or questions, just please leave them in the comments section below and I will definitely answer them. Always love reading what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for being a part of this community and for supporting my channel. You guys, we will catch you in the next one. Bye.